Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of my Jumpstart Pack opening video. If you missed part one, make sure you click on the link right above my head. It'll take you to part one. You can watch that, come back, and watch part two. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot to say, so let's get back to cracking. We're still we're still looking for We're still looking for some of the more uh some of the better the more valuable cards here. We haven't haven't pulled any of those yet. We haven't pulled any of those yet, so uh, come on. Uh feathered friends. We got birdies. Birdies. Steel plume marshal. This is the first white pack, actually. We've had mostly you know blue. Well, we have, yeah. I think this is the first white that we yeah, this is the first white we've done. When uh steel plume marshal attacks other attacking creatures you control with flying, get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Yay. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Ace controller creates a 4-4 four, four flying angel creature token with flying. Okay, so you could use that, like, on yourself, I suppose. I suppose, like, you could, like, chump block or whatever and exile. They probably, you know, I don't know. Uh, Aven Gangle Master flying with Aven Gang uh, Gaggle Master. They're geese. They're geese. Like, geese people. Weird. Uh, enters the battlefield. You gain two life in each creature you control or each creature you control with flying. Okay, on uh, uh, an avian's gear is enchanted to avoid weighting them weighing them down during aerial maneuvers. Okay, falconer adept. When falconer adept attacks, create one one white bird creature token with flying that is tapped and attacking. Okay, sky tether enchanted creature. Enchanted creature has defender and loses flying. Oh. <laughs> So that's, yeah, I was going to wait. Why would you play that? And then, oh, you'd play it on, of course, on the other guy. You play it on your opponent. Uh, another flyer, defender, swift response to Troy, target tapped creature. Oh, you want to attack me with that guy? Well, screw you, buddy. Your, your creature's dead. Another, you got a griffin there, a little flying lifelink, little, little, little uh, white weenies. Gotta love those white weenie decks. So yeah, each one of these comes with this basic land type. Uh, Celestial Enforcer. Ta target creature. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. And that's Cleric. So some planes. So again, this is the first time we're seeing planes. Got a couple of that one. Eh. Nothing really standing out here. All right. Okay, so we're see how many how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not quite halfway through. Not quite halfway through. And of course, if this goes way too long, we might might split this up into a couple videos. Because I mean, who's gonna be sitting around for an hour while I open up these packs and like try to figure out how these things work? Minions. Dig some minions. Of course, got another uh, swamp or a black. Kells, Fight Fixer. Menace. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay blue or black. If you do, draw a card. Sacrifice a creature, Kells, Fight Fixer, gains indestructible until the end of turn. So 4-3 four, for 4 with Menace and indestructible. That's pretty dope. Uh, again, another one that only has the one rare. Uh, sacrifice a creature, you gain one life and draw a card. So this is going to be all about just sacking dudes, huh? Destroy target creature and planeswalker with converted cost uh, three or less. Uh, eternal task manager or task manager, task master uh, enters the battlefield tapped whenever eternal task man master. I don't want to say task manager. I don't get it. Uh, attacks, you may pay two colors and a black if you do return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. It comes in tapped. I guess it doesn't really matter at the very beginning. You know, at the very beginning of the game, that's two mana, uh, two mana to put him in. It's not like you're gonna be attacking right away or that early in games. So. Uh, Gore Mend. I actually kind of like that early game. You can get stuff back. You know, even if even if it gets blocked. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, uh, Gore Mind. An additional cost to this, uh, to cast a spell. Sacrifice a creature. Flying. Trample. Uh, when Gore Mind. Gore Mand, Enters the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Hey, okay, little. I mean, I mean, this flying trample. So, okay. So, would you have to sacrifice two creatures? Each. Oh, each opponent. Never mind. I can't read. 
Reading comprehension for the win. Crypt Lurker. When Crypt Lurker enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature or discard a creature card if you do draw a card. Again, going, going for that stuff in the graveyard. An additional cost of cast a spell. Dis sacrifice a creature. Destroy target creature. Okay. That's... Wow. Okay. It's a way to get stuff in the graveyard, I guess. So I wonder, this, this would be probably maybe another... Is this another one that maybe would go into a commander deck? Seems like pretty easy creature removal, especially when you're... It seems like all the commander games that I've seen, you're creating a lot of like token creatures. So it seems like something that would go really well into a, in a commander deck for removal. Uh, drain pipe vermin. When drain pipe vermin dies, you may pay one black. If you do target player discards a card. Okay. Beautiful attendant. When dutiful attendant dies, return another target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ghoul, a Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. Exile Ghoul Caller's Accomplice from your graveyard. Create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. Nocturnal Feeder. Flying. When Nocturnal Feeder dies, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. As additional cost to the cast this spell, sacrifice a creature and draw two cards. All right, there we go. I like I like this pack. I mean, I actually, I mean, this seems like it'd be a fun. This would be a fun one to play. Uh, some of these other ones I'm not real big on, but this one I think would be a lot of fun to play. Still, we're almost halfway through. So, and I promise, I promise, in future videos, there's going to be a lot less going through some of these just basic common land or commons and stuff like that. Um, we'll just get to the meat of it, which I know a lot of you guys just want to see the rares and all that stuff. But hey. They're all rare to me at this point. They're all special. They're all new. Still trying to figure out this game, what I'm going to be playing in the future. And this pack does not want to open. There we go. All right. Come on. What are we going to get? This is pack number 10. This will be officially one and halfway through our jumpstart packs. What do we got? Bing, heavily armored. All right, it's our second, second uh, white pack here. Cathar's Crusade. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Wow, that's pretty dope. All right, again, just the only rare in this pack. Um, Tempered Veteran, put plus one, plus one counter on target creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Wow, for five mana or six mana, you can put one on. Or you could put one that already has one on. But with this, if you have this out, oh my god, you can put put a lot of plus one, plus one counters on. Uh, patron of the Valiant. We love the angels flying. When Patron of the Valiant enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Wow. Okay, so all the plus one, plus ones. Siege Striker. That seems like a lot of work. Oh my goodness. I'm liking this deck so far, though. I'm liking this pack. A double strike. Woo! Double strike. Whenever Siege whenever Siege Striker attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Siege Striker gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn for each creature tapped this way. Great one for White Weenie. But sorry, solid, Solidarity. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Neat. Uh, secure the scene. Exile. It's target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. Okay. Feet of resistance. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains protection from the color of your choice until the end of turn. Uh, Bulwark Giant. When Bulwark Giant enters the battlefield, you gain five life. Five life for six plus a three, six creature. Okay. I suppose you're getting a bunch of plus one, plus ones on there. Ah, whatever. Uh, trusty Retriever. When Trusty Retriever enters the battlefield, choose one. The plus one, plus one counter on Trusty Retriever. Return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. So I guess that'd be good if they somehow destroy this and you want to get that back. Uh, Lightwalker has flying as long as it gets a, has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Makeshift Battalion. Whenever Makeshift Battalion and at least two other creatures attack, put a plus one, plus one counter on Makeshift Battalion. Cool. Lots of plus one, plus one. And finally, 
Basari Acolyte, lifelink. And Basari Acolyte enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one count on each of up to two other target creatures you control. So I think this one would be a lot of fun. Ooh, look at that. I like that art. Oops, maybe I should pay attention. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. All right. I like that pack. I like definitely a lot better than the other one that I didn't like as much. Okay. Still waiting to to see something kind of cool, something like, you know, valuable, something to help that, you know, make these packs a little bit more worth it. But I'm still I mean, still having fun opening them, learning about some of these cards, getting some ideas for, you know, crusader uh, or for commander decks rather. And, you know, maybe some other decks I might want to build. This would be a lot of fun to play, though. I, I really like I like the Jumpstart product. I think it I mean, you know, great for, like, sealed decks type type events, stuff like that. All right, here we go. Boing! Angels! We like angels. Bane Slayer Angel. Flying First Strike, Lifelink, Protection from Demons and from Dragons. A 5-5 five, five Flyer, 4-5 with Lifelink at First Strike. Oh, my goodness. That is a mythic too, huh? That is pretty great. Some angels protect the meek and innocent. Others seek out and smite evil wherever it lurks. Man, that is that is really good. I like that a lot. And that one, but of course that one isn't really showing up. Let me see here. I gotta look this one up here. Yeah, that's not even showing up as Ah, whatever. I'm gonna go edit, we'll we'll figure out what that one is. But that, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the old angels. You know, Sarah Angel, of course. Everybody loves Sarah Angel. I know, looking back at when I when I played, when I originally played, Sarah Angel was Bay. I loved her. Uh, Angelic Ascension, Exile Target Creature, or Planeswalker. You control, create a 4-4 four, four Flying Angel Creature token with flying. Emancipation Angel. When Emancipation Angel enters the battlefield, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Uh, okay. This would, I mean, this would be good. I like I like this one with uh, like land maybe like a landfall type deck where you could uh, return a land and play it uh, or those 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 flip card lands or whatever you know uh, and I don't know all the terms I'm sorry uh, but where you know where there's a spell on the back or whatever I think that'd be really great for that sort of thing oh Sarah Angel speaking of there she is oh baby oh baby all right come on camera focus a little bit better. Okay. So cool. We got us a Sarah Angel. I don't even, I don't remember, honestly, if I have a Sarah Angel in my collection of like what I used to have, I probably do. Was Sarah Angel always an uncommon? Hmm. Or that maybe that's just now she's uncommon. Either way, Flying Vigilance 4 4. Oh, Sarah Angel. Love her. Guardian Idol. Add one colors mana or guardian idol becomes a 2-2 golem artifact until the end of turn. Uh, feet of resistance, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains protection from like, any co the color of your choice until the end of turn. That's pretty handy. Anointed choi choi Chorster. Is that an instant? Oh, it is an instant. That is actually pretty sweet. I like that a lot. Uh, lifelink, anointed uh, Chorister. Gets yes, plus three, plus three until the end of turn. It's pretty expensive, but I mean, I think for one, you get that out early, you know, you can get, get a, gain a little bit of life, and then, you know, if it survives, and obviously you can start doing some late game damage. That's pretty cool. Exile target creature or enchantment. Yeah, get, get rid of that stuff. Still five, that's, that's a lot for that. Uh, angelic page, flying, target attacking, or blocking creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Okay. Uh, Scroll of Avacyn. Sacrifice Scroll of Avacyn. Hopefully I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Draw a card. If you control an angel, you gain five life. Interesting. Wait. So could you have that? Uh, wait. Is it this? No. This guy. Is that an angel? That is not an angel. Never mind. All right. So I was going to say, like, early game, that'd be pretty dope, but... Anyway. Uh... Voice of the Provinces. Flying when Voice of Provinces enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white human creature token. That doesn't, I mean, for six mana, 3 3 flyer, and just, I don't know. That doesn't seem that great. It probably isn't. I don't know. Celestial Enforcer. 
target creature tap target creature activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying we, we've seen that one before that was in one of the other white decks i like this deck a lot i like this creature i like this a uh, bane slayer angel a lot i look forward to playing with bane slayer angel and of course my girl sarah angel Woo, let's go excited i mean of course you know like well, some of this stuff is gonna be a little nostalgic to me so Forgive me if I get excited over something that's really not as, as good as it, it would seem. Because, you know, hey, I've been I've been away from the game for a while, and I like what I like. So, just... Next up! Oh, I didn't even realize there were these little, these little handy-dandy things. That probably made opening these packs a lot easier. It's so weird they put the extra cellophane in there. And bam, walls. Oh, yeah. A whole deck around surrounded by walls here. All right. Towering Titan. When Towering Titan enters a battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the total toughness of other creatures you control. Sacrifice, this, sacrifice a creature with Defender. All creatures gain trampled to the end of turn. That's pretty dope. That's pretty. That'd be a lot of fun, huh? Assault formation. Each creature. Oh, this one. There's a couple of rares in this one. This is actually a mythic, huh? Cool. You know, actually, you know, going thinking about it, that uh, that Baneslayer Angel might be my first mythic. I don't know if I have any other mythics. Now that I think about it, that might have been the first myth that I own that I'm aware of. That might not be true. But Towering Titan, I like that. I like that a lot. Six mana. Getting that, you're, you're, you're planning, probably going to get it out late game, get some, you know, green beats out there. You can get it. Freaking huge. Huge. Oh, but you still need to sacrifice a wall. I have a perf. I actually, you know what? I have a really good card that would go with this. Wheels are turning here, guys. Anyway, um, assault form. I'm not, I'm not even going to spoil it. Just saying. Uh, Cause it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> anyway, assault formation. Each creature you control assigned combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Target creature with defender can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Creatures you control get plus zero plus one until the end of turn. That's pretty neat. Okay. So this, oh my God. I like that a lot, actually. So, okay. So we're going to get some more walls here. Defender. So these would be like when you're defending, even though this is a two five, but guess what? You attack. I have assault formation. Your guy's going to take five damage, not two. Take that. Uh, you get it for three mana defender. Okay. With, and draw a card. Cool. Until the end of turn, Gargoyle Sentinel loses Defender and gains flying. Oh, 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 man. That's actually really good because, well, I mean, still, you're getting it out pretty early. You can, you know, you can fly over there and for three. I mean, that's, I like that. I like that card. And it's an, it's an artifact. So, I mean, it's three colorless. That's, I like that. Overgrown, overgrown Battlement Defender. Add one for each creature with Defender you control. Okay two mana all right so so basically when it comes out you you automatically have one so for it's it's that's okay i get it i like it i like it i like it uh wall of blossoms defender when wall of blossoms enter the battlefield draw a card okay Wait, warmonger's chariot equipped art or equipped creature gets plus two plus two uh defender yeah, attack oh man i like that there's a lot of uncommons in this one I guess I haven't really been paying attention to how many uncommons. I'm, you know, I'm liking this deck. I think this would be a lot of fun to play uh, this particular deck in combination with some other ones. But um, this is—I I actually do like this deck a lot. Sacrifice a creature with Defender, draw a card, crushing canopy, destroy a target creature with flying, destroy a target enchantment. We saw that one before. Grave Bramble, Defender, protection from zombies. <laughs> Let's okay. Uh, Thrum Grove, Wall of Vines. As reach, okay. For one, that's that's good for those early game flyers. Defender Roving Keep gets plus two, plus zero, and gains trample until the end of turn. It can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Oh my, oh my. Still seven mana, but it's colorless, so I guess that's cool. All right, let's take a look. Any cool art here? All right, I, I like this. I like this deck. I like this deck a lot. That'd be. This seems like it'll be a lot of fun. This one seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. I'm not upset with that one. We still haven't really hit 
any of uh as far as i want to wear any of the big the big players here the big players so but we're still i'm still seeing some of these cards it'll be a lot of fun to play that's cool all right come on all right all right, all right we'll try this side aha that's <laughs> so much easier do 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 all right now that we know about this even though this one is not behaving like the other one all right what do we got where all spirits all right so this is our first this is our first one that's that's a retread here shacklegeist and it looks like it's the same battleground guys did i have okay so let's pull this other one out this is uh battle chains okay so this one's a little bit different this one had um battle chains so this one only has this one is a little bit different so we'll just kind of go through it real quick um shackle geist battle, battleground geist departed deckhand um so yeah this one's not as, even as good i mean when you consider it only has the one rare as opposed to the two rare so this is like a copy of the the first one as far as spirits uh so yeah anyway a little disappointing so that was our first duplicate pack so far still waiting to get something good like something like monetarily good. Come here. Come here. Seismic. We flipped that a little bit too early, but that's okay. Seismic. Grim Lava Monster. I remember this card. Where did this card come from before? Exile two cards from your graveyard. Grim Lava Monster. Mancer Lava. I want to say Lava Monster. Deals two damage to any target. Mass magma quake, magma quake, magma quake deals X damage to each creature with without flying and each planeswalker. So kind of like an earthquake, right? Uh, volcanic geyser deals X damage to target any target. So this is a lot of like just direct damage to the face, huh? Cinder elemental sacrifice. Cinder elemental deals X damage to any target. Magma jet deals two damage to any target. Scry two seismic elemental. Enters the battlefield creatures without flying. Uh, can't block this turn. Pretty expensive. Ashmouth Hound. Whenever Ashmouth Hound blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, Ashmouth Hound deals one damage to that creature. Uh, volcanic Fallout. This spell can't be countered. Volcanic Fallout deals two damage to each creature and each player. All right. Uh, Blood Rock Cyclops attacks each turn if able. Mana Geode. That's pretty. When Mana Geode enters the battlefield, add one mana of any color. Oh, scry one. Tap to add one mana of any color. I mean, tell me I'm wrong, but that seems pretty pretty good. I mean, it's, it's cost three mana. I mean, it's a three mana. It's a three mana ramp card, right? Isn't that what they call it? I don't know. I'm trying to get with the terms. I'm getting with what the kids say. At any rate. That seems, I mean, that seems like pretty good. And you get to scry one. I don't know. I like that. It seems like, is that, is that something you put in a commander deck? Uh, Molten Ravager. Again, let me know in the comments. Uh, Molten Ravager. Molten Ravager is plus one, plus zero to the end of turn. Spitting Earth. Spitting Earth deals damage to target creature equal to its number of mountains you control. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Let's look at these, look at these mountains here. Great artwork, man. That's, I mean, that's one of the things that brought me back is just the artwork. Just love it. I don't know. I couldn't, I didn't appreciate the artwork before. I couldn't care less before now. Like the artwork just, it, there's something about it, man. Something about it. Okay. We're getting down. There's six more packs of jumpstart before we open up those and boop. Spell casting. Of course we like spell casting because you know, spells. All right, another red mana. Double vision. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, each turn copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. First instant or sorcery spell each turn. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Chandra Pyretelli or Pyre, Pyreling. Pyreling. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra Pyreling gets plus one plus zero and gains double strike until the end of turn Alrighty, young pyromancer when you cast an instant or sorcery spell create a one one red elemental creature token Ooh, that's fun 
Get on those little creatures. Kinetic Augur. Trample. Kinetic Augur's power is equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. When Kinetic Augur enters the battlefield, discard up to two cards, then draw that many cards. Oh, neat. So, yeah, you can just throw some instants or sorceries in there. Maybe you're, you know, kind of low on mana. Just get it. Get that, guys. Stuff pumped up. Pump them up. And you get to draw cards. Cool. Heart file. Heart file. Fire Immolator Prowess. When you when you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one to the end of turn. Sacrifice a heartfelt immolator. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Well, creature control, we like that. Shock! Oh, baby. Look at that shock. That M21 shock. I used to play a lot of shocks. So that's cool to see that back. Thrill of possibility. An additional card cast this spell. Discard a card, draw two cards. Okay. Another one, this one kind of, again, with the uh, the nice little combo with this guy. So you get lots of cards. Graveyard, plus that, you know, that adds to it too. You know, because, you know, instance. Nice little, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, flame Lash. Flame Lash deals four damage to any target. Hungry Flame. Flames deals three damage to target creature and two damage to target Planeswalker. Killing Fiend, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Killing Fiend gets plus three, plus zero until the end of turn. Lightning Visionary. We have that prowess again, two, two, or two, one for two. Thermo Alchemist, Defender Thermo Alchemist deals one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, untap Thermo Alchemist. And car. And some mountains. That's a pretty cool looking mountain there. Like that. You could dig it. All right. Some fun stuff in that particular pack right there. I kind of I like it. I like it. Of course, I'm a little biased towards red. Always have been. All right, what's next? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching part two of my Jumpstart Pack opening video. If you enjoyed what you watched, make sure to give it that thumbs up down below. Also, I want to hear from you, so hit up those comments and give me your thoughts. You can also find the links to all my socials in the description below including a link to my Discord server where you can come and chat with me directly and hang out with the rest of the community and talk about Magic the Gathering or just whatever. Oh, hey, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. I've got a lot more great content on the way, including part three of the Jumpstart pack opening video, which may already be up. Just checking these boxes over here. If it's not there, it will be soon, so keep checking back. So once again, thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you again real soon.